Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Teacher. Good evening, teacher. Did everybody have a good day today? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Great. Okay. Tell me what's new. What was new for you today or what did you do differently today? I'm Patricia Flamenco. Mm -hmm. Patricia? And what happened today, Patricia? I'm good. I work up in my house. You worked in your house? Yes. Okay. And what do you do? I I'm listening my first class right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh uh huh. Okay, that's good. Okay. Anybody else want to talk? Go ahead, don't worry, tell me what happened today. It's okay, let's practice. Well, hi, uh, I'm Vanessa. Uh, different this day was that I ate a hamburger from McDonald's. Hey! hey. <laughs> uh, it was the first time because for all this, for the pandemic. So I feel very uh, delicious. <laughs> it was very delicious, the hamburger. <laughs> I, I can imagine, it's, especially for, you know, two, three, four, five months, no hamburgers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that was a different thing that I do these days. Okay, all right, good. Anybody else? Mm. I see you don't like to talk too much this class. Hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Well, then we're going to take a look. Today we're going to be looking at asking questions specifically for information, okay? So what kind of questions do you ask when you are looking for information? We have WH questions. Do you remember what are WH questions? Yes, yes. Why? Why? Who? Where? When? when? Which? Oh, exactly, what? Which? Where, when, which? Mm -hmm. Okay, and when do we use what? For example, what is the idea for what? I think it's like uh, what time, what, uh, what size, what kind of food. Okay. So, yeah, what is the, the general information, right? Yeah. It, uh -huh. So we have a couple, a couple of things that when we want to get general information, we use what? What about the question where? When do we use where? When you want to know the place or, or city. Exactly. It's for the location. For the location. Right. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. We have where for the location. What about when? Why do we use when? For the time. For the time. You are coming in a lot of time. Okay, good. What about the question which? Which?
When you can choose something. Excellent. It's for choices. Now, it's very different than what. What is general? It's open the question and open the answer. But which you have a limitation. Okay. So I imagine, I think, um, I think it was Patricia said she went to McDonald's. Right? Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa, Vanessa, I'm sorry. Yes. Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa went to McDonald's. Okay. That was excellent. Okay. But I don't say what combo do you want? I say which combo do you want? Because which is only a limit. It's only possible uh, six options, for example or nine options, but it's a limit. It's different than I say, what do you want? Ah, because then not necessarily a combo. Maybe an ice cream, maybe a sundae, maybe a soda, maybe apple pie, maybe hamburger, then it's open. But if I have for the combos or if I have a specific is which, like the soda, right? The soda only have yeah. four or five flavors. And then they say, which soda would you like? Now, this is the, the correct grammatically, okay? Not necessarily the, uh, what the people use in speaking or normally. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, many times the people don't speak correctly, just like in Spanish, right? The correct is which. But many times the people say, ah, okay. What do you want? What, do you, what combo do you want to eat? What soda do you want? But the correct is which, but we understand. Okay. It's just the most important is that you need to go according to the culture. The grammar says which, but the culture says what. Okay. Now here we're going to look at today a few of the different questions. Questions like this. Then we also have a few other questions like how. And how is more difficult because how actually changes according to the next word. The word that is next to how indicate a different question. So I say to, um, I say to Omar, Omar, how are you? Is different than I put with how much is the, is the phone. Is different than I say how many students are in the class, okay? is different for each how to how do you make pupusas is the same how but it's not the same how many students is is not is not the same idea so that one you have to be a little bit more careful of today we're going to begin by practicing a conversation this conversation is in your chat in the chat for the whatsapp if you are in the platform it is 1.6 in this moment i'm going to share with you what we are talking about okay okay so if you are in the platform for english corporativo here where it says i need some information okay i need some information is going to be this one the important that you're going to do with your partners is for that conversation you're going to practice one time you are the man one time you are the woman then we're going to practice information for each other okay like if I need information, imagine I am coming to El Salvador. I don't know El Salvador. I am a person from another country. I am from Canada, okay? So for example, today I was talking to someone from South Africa, okay? And in South Africa, they imagine is like in South Africa, a different money, different culture. And they say, you use the dollars in El Salvador. Why? You don't have a company to produce. You don't have, and for them is is incredible. We don't have our own money, but it's the culture. So this is the idea. First, the conversation, and then we are going to role play. The role play is one person, the visitor, and one, the Salvadorian. The visitor asks question, oh, what can I do? Where can I go? What is the money? How much do I use? The, the typical questions like tourists. Okay. And the other partner answer. And then we change. It's okay the objectives. It's okay the task. Okay. 
step here. Do you do you need an example or is clear? David, it's clear. Olga, it's clear. Yes, Romulo. Yeah. No, teacher, I joined late. <laughs> okay, exactly. Uh -huh. but, but you see, it's clear, but mm, quiet. No, 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 no. <laughs> Any questions? It's clear. It's okay. And Ron David, no problem. And, mm, no, and Romul, mm, not, nothing. Okay, okay. We give you an example. We give you an example. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, let me go one more time. Share the screen to make sure it's clear. This is in the WhatsApp group or is you can use in the platform 1.6 okay with your partner activity number one practice the conversation okay one time kelly one time john and then switch okay so practice i am john you are kelly we finish then you are kelly and i am john we we change okay that's activity number one Activity number two is we imagine one partner is the tourist, the other partner Salvadorian, and the partner tourist asks questions like a tourist. Where do I go for this? What do I do for this? Uh, how can I do this? How many is it? The, the, the typical WH questions like practicing like a tourist. And the partner has to answer them. Okay. It's okay, Romulo? Yes. Okay, Blanca, no problem. Okay. All right, good. Okay, let's make the partners. Let's begin practicing. Okay. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, Eugenia. Hello. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> we we are gonna do the the conversation you share in the WhatsApp. Exactly. I, this this is number one. Okay. And then number two, what is? Then number two is, for example, Blanca the tourist, and you are mi tour. And Blanca is going to ask you questions for El Salvador, and you are going to answer. Uh, we have to uh, apply. Apply. Mm -hmm. Apply in the circumstances in our country. Yes, exactly. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. Um, Blanca, we, if you want to be. Mention what currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in most of the EU. All right, and is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Ah, huh? well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. 
you have the wrong number. <laughs> and switch. I will be I will be John and you will be Kelly. Yes. Uh, I start. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think they are used in most for EU. All right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Ah, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How well I know? Well, you are a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is hair salon. You have the wrong okay. number. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, más o menos. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Oh, good job, good job. <laughs> Thank you. And ah, now I think hello, we, teacher. <laughs> hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> um, now I think we we have to create a new conversation. Um, we we can figure that you are a tourist and I am Salvadorian and you are visiting El Salvador. You can ask me questions about the country. Hello? Hi? Yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Repeat me, please. Yes, the, the next exercise is that you have to, we have to make a conversation. Um, imagine that you are a tourist and I am Salvadorian, and you are visiting the El Salvador. So you can ask me about the country, and I will respond to you. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, you start, or? You can start. We can imagine that, like, um, you like pupusa? What, what is a pupusa? Oh, pupusa is a food typical Salvadorian. The ingredients is um, cheese, uh, uh, salt, tomato, and it's a tortilla of the cheese. Similar. Uh, the place uh, famous in El Salvador is Olesinta. You are uh, accept me my invitation to uh, go. Are you okay? Are you, do you have any questions? Hi, hi, perdón. Es que mi internet se puso como loco, perdón. Is okay? Yes, yes. Okay, okay.
teacher, how do you say in English extranjero? Foreigners? No. Correct. Foreigner, correct. Foreigner. Ah. Very good. Okay. Yes, for the foreign is is safe. For the people Salvadorian is not safe. You can go the oh. downtown, no problem. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, I had another question. Sorry, but uh, you you understand that uh, it's the first time in El Salvador. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the? It's, uh, do you know someone that that work in there? Could you repeat again the your hey? question? Do you know someone that that work in that that place? Uh, near to the place, the near to the location, you find a lake. It's a great lake. Uh, you 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 can to go over there. Okay. I'm going to be glad um, in a weekend. Yes. Um, actually, you can visit in a day for the distance is, um, is short. Okay. And how about the food? I can buy food close to the mountain? Yes. Okay. Um, and how was the how is the weather in this uh, month? In this month is um is hot and raining in some oh, times. Right. Right. <laughs> and do you know if I can buy buy clothes? If clothes for or visit the mountain? Um, I think it's not necessary because for the weather is hot right now. So in the mountain, not change too much. Okay, great. And I don't Only know. Only you need that. And the uh, beautiful food and the issues. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and the and and can can you see uh, the beach? Beautiful, I don't know. And the la libertad is near compared. Okay. I see many people were getting very creative uh, with asking the different questions and getting the ideas. Okay. First, do you have any questions? I, is there anything that you wanted to ask or say you don't know how to say it or ask? I had problems with uh, uh, some words. Uh, I don't know if the correct to say European Union. That is correct. It is correct to say European Union. Mm -hmm. And the other one, Euro, is correct. Euro. Euro. It's almost Euro. like, yes, it's a Euro oh. mm -hmm. for the money, right? Yes. In yes. The, in one sentence, they say, I think that. Euro. Yes, the euro. euro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a question, teacher. The pronunciation is currency. 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 Correct. Cur. Like oh. curry, like the, the food from India. Cur. Currency. Currency. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Teacher, how do you say? Um, European Union. I don't know if I say that in the right. It's it's almost like with a Y. Okay, so you pronounce like the Y that European, like you, 
European Union. European Union. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Patricia? No. Okay. okay. Great. One thing that we need to work on and we're going to practice again is many of your questions are structured like a sentence. And we need to be conscious the difference between a question and a sentence. So I hear some of you that say, for example, as an example, they said, um, eh, eh, the weather is nice. This is a sentence. The food is good. This is a sentence. Okay. The, the beach is far. As an example, these are sentences. Remember, for questions is, okay, uh, is the beach nice or is the beach far? Is the, is the food good? Okay, or are the same for WH. What are okay? Where are okay? And not make it like like a sentence. Okay, so in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to try one more time. Now, remember, we're going to change roles. So before, if you were, if you were the tourist, now you are not the tourist. Now you are the person who answers. Okay, the questions. Okay, if before you were the person, if you were me tour before, now you are the tourist. Okay, we're going to try to have different partners so we can practice. It's okay? All right, remember the most, the most important is consciously listen to yourself, okay? So instead of saying, like I say to David, hey, do you like your job? This is not a question, right, David? What is the correct way? Do you like your work? <laughs> yes, do you, do you like, because in this case, we use the auxiliary do, okay? But if I say, Vanessa, hey, Vanessa, you are married? It's not a question. What is the correct form, Vanessa? Uh, are you married? Exactly, a different auxiliary, right? Okay, okay. So the important for, practice again is because we use different auxiliaries depend the situation so it's not always possible only the normal sentence okay so let's practice one more time and remember to listen to making sure your questions are correct Okay. Basically, in the previous uh, conversation, I was the foreign, the foreign people. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I I am Salvadorian. Salvadorian. I was Salvadorian. Ah, perfect. Now it's okay. we can switch. Okay, I'm. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me see. Um. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I see. I. See. Are you ready? See a picture now. Yeah, uh, you you start or 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 I start. Say me. I, I start. I I will be Kelly. Okay, okay. You, you you begin. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currently you you see in the Europa Union? Where? The European Union. Ah, uh, at the end, the euro is used in the most of the EU. All right. And it's English spoken much there. I really have no idea. I'm not sure. Huh. Well, what about credit?
accepted pairs, are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, your trouble again, aren't you? Well, this is a hard sell on. You have uh, the wrong number. That's it, the first participation. Okay, and uh, let's try the inverse position. Yeah, the, the switch, okay. I Kelly and begin. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The oh, in BTC, in the person here, home, advertising. Oh, really? I, I work in Tigo. Yes. I work in data, data warehouse. Ah, okay. Oh, um, Juan Carlos, Elder? Yes, yes, Juan Carlos is my forward. Yes. And in some places in El Salvador, uh, can we stay at this level and get better about the Security, what do you think? Uh, at this time, on the night, in the uh, night, or if it, maybe, if maybe, it's with, uh, maybe, no, okay. I try to say it's about the the politic is a uh, try to control her or the violent death or muerte violenta. Quiero decir, do you think mm -hmm. is. Uh, stay in this level and get better or do you um, okay and the switch <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> okay um now i'm going to be the tourist okay okay uh, let me start hi i'm i'm i am new here and i want to know where is the nearest hotel? Um, okay. Uh, is uh, where do you do? Like, um, I don't remember the name, did it? Okay, perfect. Uh, maybe I can. I am. I am going to to buy a class to practice my surf. Uh, what about the bars at night? Do you have a lot of bars in the city? Yes, we have a lot of bars, discotheque, and restaurant for go at night and have a good time with friends or something. Okay, great. Maybe I can go and visit uh, one discotheque close to the hotel. And what about the pets? They accept, the hotel accept pets? It depends the policy of, of the hotel. Maybe, yes or maybe not. <laughs> I don't okay. know. <laughs> okay, and is the hotel accept our uh, Oh no, is there? Yeah, the things that they are they are in, in the work. Yeah, but uh, but it is funny because I can concentrate in my work, but I love listening music uh, when I'm working, and that's uh, multitask. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm multitasking when I'm working, and you you really enjoy working. Did you really enjoy working with that graphic designers? Yes. Yes, because we have to, we have a lot of projects. Okay. And then uh, we have uh, a lot of programs too that are areas that make things different things and then they are never going to be bored. Yeah. Since when? Since when? Uh, I don't know if this is the correct question, but 
since when are you working in that area? In, in my area? Yeah, in, in the publicity in the ONA. Uh, like, I don't, I don't understand the question. And if I how enjoy, long, how, how long, long are you working in that area? I have uh, in this area six years working in this area. And yeah, you have a lot of experience. Uh, well, I try to. <laughs> I try yeah. to because uh, all days we have something new. And then we have to, to, to make new things that are going to be uh, maybe an uh, opportunity. Teacher, yeah, how do you say cabana in English? Cabana. Cabana. Cabin. Cabin. Mm -hmm. Cabin. Cabin. Okay. Cabin. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I see that was much better. I noticed some people that they realized that they were not saying the question and then they, uh, okay, and they corrected themselves. That's the important. That's how, that's how you improve. It's not perfect every time, but it's being conscious. It's being aware of what you're saying and to stop the mistakes. That's the important, little by little. Okay. Before we continue to the next topic and the next grammar, are there any questions about the WH? For example, what, where, when, which, how? Or, or any other questions it's there? Clear. It's clear? clear. Okay, great. Our next topic is looking at the words with, which are passive. Do you remember what is the difference between passive and active? The active, yeah. the focus is in the person. Okay. In the passive, the focus is in the object. Okay. Great. So, active, I cook dinner. Passive, dinner is cooked. Okay. What's, what's the difference? The difference is who does the action and who receives the action, okay? Now, the idea is if you do the action, it's the active, okay? If you receive the action, it's the passive, okay? So always this is our main idea between actives and passives, okay? Let me share with you a little bit. Okay. Now we also use many times when the passive, 1.8, when we use the passive, many times we use the word by. Why do we use by? When you got to say the, the person that who made it. Correct, correct. When you're going to say the person who made it or the... Compliment. Okay. It's like a compliment. But the difference is that in this case, in here, in this compliment is giving the information who. Okay. So when you want to answer the question who, we use the word by. Okay. So we have some examples there. The euro is used. Ah, this is passive. Why? Because the euro is money, and the money cannot do actions, but the money can be used. So that's why the verb to be and the past participle, okay? Now, it's not necessary, but if we want, we can add. The euro is used in most of the European Union, and this in the red is extra information by the people. The same, cars are manufactured. 
Why? Because the cars do not manufacture themselves. They receive the action. Okay? And the same idea. Here we have by manufacturers to give specific who makes those cars. It's, it's okay the idea for the, the passive? Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, who would like to read the active and who would like to read the passive? I can read the active. Thank you, Henya. I can they, read the passive. passive. They use the euro. Euro is the correct pronunciation. Euro. Remember, euro. it's Thanks. like like a Y, like a Y, like U. Euro. euro. Mm -hmm. Okay. The use of euro is in most of the European Union. They speak English in many European countries. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. All of these are active. Thank you very much. They're active because they, that means the people, those people do these actions. Who can read the passive? Me. <laughs> okay. The Europe is used in most of the EU. English is spoken in many European countries. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. Okay. Thank you very much. All of those are the passive. Now, what do we have? Well, if we can see, it says, okay, we use the verb to be and the past participle. This is because the sentence is in present. So, it, because the sentence is in present, the verb to be is in present. Okay. If the sentence was in past, then the verb to be would be in past. Does that make sense? Depend the verb, the original sentence so is. Teacher, can you repeat? The yes. 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 Depend the depend of the original verb is affect the verb to be. Not this verb. This verb always is past participle used, spoken, manufactured, but the verb to be is or are depends for here in this section. If the verb is in present, they use, ah, the verb to be is in present. Let's give an example in the past. They used with D, they used the Euro. Ah, then here, not the Euro is used. Here, the, the Euro, Euro was. Correct, Fabiola, the euro was used. So it depends the verb, this of directly affect the verb to be. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Teacher, yes? sorry, but I don't know what, how is the right way to say manufacture and manufacturers. Ah, okay, so manufacture, Okay, the first one, they manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. And the second one is a lot of cars are manufactured with D, manufactured in Europe. Now, the difference, present, manufacture, past, manufactured. Only is the D, the difference in the pronunciation. Is that okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to take a look at the active and the passive. What's the main difference? The main difference is the person does the action, the active. We use a verb, okay, directly. Then we have the other one, the passive. The passive is receives the action. The object receives the action. The uh, sorry, the object receives the action. Okay. Now let's take a look at a few more examples that we have in here. See what else they give us. Okay. So what's one of the main ideas is we change the emphasis. Okay, so 
we change in the sentence, they use the euro. Okay, they, we are focusing on the person. But when we put the euro, ah, now we focus on what we focus on the money. So the purpose is to change depending the what you want to focus, which is more interesting for you. That's when you change it. Is that okay? You can see there, we have day, all right. So here, the same idea. When we focus usually with objects and objects, then we normally know it's going to be a passive sentence. Okay, so if I say one thing, my partner can do the other. We're going to try the, the following activities. This is, I'm going to take the picture and put in WhatsApp if you are on your cell phone so you have an idea what we are doing. But if you are in the platform, it's no problem. You can go to 1.9, 1.9, and you can practice there. Okay, let me take these sentences. I'm going to send them so that you practice which ones you want the, with your partners. Okay, are we ready for our groups? Everybody received in the WhatsApp? I don't know what happened, teacher. I come back. Okay, no problem, no problem. I practice in the platform. I, I do the 1.9 because my son is with the phone. Ah, okay, okay. But I practice in the platform. I try to complete 1.9 knowledge check. Correct, correct. 1.9 knowledge check. Okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. It's Right. David? Oh, okay, David entered. Okay. If you want, you can join a group, Cesar, and then only okay. listen. No, only listen is no problem. Okay, I try. Maybe you send me the invitation again. Okay, let's try one more time. Did you receive? No, teacher. Thank you. Uh, no. No, no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No. Not yet. Okay. Uh, it's a few uh, minutes to finish. Maybe I try to to do the one point nine teacher. Okay. No problem. No problem. Because because I have a an at war. I I don't have. Uh, time maybe for practice. Okay, Sasa, no problem. Okay. No problem. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, we don't understand what uh, I do with uh, with this exercise. Okay. Uh, er Early this day, uh, I try to answer, but uh, I don't. I don't understand. Okay. So here we have the sentence: Many crops grow in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in today's class, we learned that always is necessary the verb to be, and the verb to be depend 
the in present or past, okay? But here we have many crops grow in Taiwan. We're going to say that this is in front of it. Crops are plural. You see it's plural. So are, are exactly, are. The okay. verb, the verb is grow. What is the past participle of grow? Grow. Grow. Okay, good. Because here, the crops do not grow themselves. Someone has to grow them. That's why they are called the passive. Okay. So it's okay. basically in Taiwan, and many grow, many crops grow like this. Correct. And in, okay. in the active, okay, Taiwan, in the active is correct. Taiwan grows many crops. Exactly. But we are putting in passive. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just going to... Um, eh, eh, pan, number two, eh, eh, consume. Okay, okay, okay. Some crops consume uh, in bracket locally. Okay, teacher, uh, I, I have a question, teacher. Okay, the, the, this, this. Uh, statement is in present or, or uh, is in past, simple past. Ah, very good. Take a moment and read the instructions. Ah, the instructions, simple present tense, passive. I, uh, excuse me. No, yeah. no, no, don't worry, don't worry. But uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important. All, all the sentences are going to be in the present. But it's important that you understand that the passive is not for present. It's for all the times. You all can, the times. Yes. And you can use in present and past and future. But in this exercise, only the present. That way you don't confuse. Okay. It is grow, grow, grow. Yeah. Almost, almost on my crops are singular or it's plural. Grow. Oh, uh, excuse me, it's plural. plural. Are grown. Are grown, exactly, because it's plural, crops with S. Mm -hmm. uh, grown is and at the, at the end of this correct. word. Correct, that is correct. Ooh. Okay. I don't know. What happened, Olga, Patricia? Uh, I, I need your help. Okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> but in the first sentences is, I think, I think many crops, crops, grapes in Taiwan. Okay, Patricia, you are almost correct, right? Here, the idea is the, so that first always is important to read the instructions. For our sentence, for this exercise, all are in the simple present. Uh, simple present. All are in simple present. So we don't confuse with verb to be in the past or in the future, only in the present. Now, in the present, we have three verbs to be, right? We have Am, yes. is, um, are. Those are, am, yes. is, are. So first, you need to identify the word. So the, the, here we have the noun that is crops. Ah, but it's plural because it has S. Because it has okay. S, we use are. If it's singular, we use is. Is, yes. Mm -hmm. And then only we need to remember the past participle of the verbs. If the verb is regular, only D. But if the verb is irregular, you need to remember how to spell. Here, by change, change. Exactly, by changing. Here, change for an N. Okay. Okay. Simple present is subject, verb to be, Plus, uh, pass. 
past participle. Past participle. Past partis participle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Like this. It's C E C I U G H T. C A or E. <laughs> yes. Ah, ah, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cow. C A U H H T. La C, la It finish la with the. No, no, but the U. The how? U. You need a U. Mm -hmm. we, we do know the past participle of catch. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is C A U G U G H uh -huh. T. Out. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the other is a lot of sheep are raised. Race. Hi, Miss Hello, <laughs> hello. We got, we got a lot of problems with the <laughs> exercise. Okay. Yeah. We, don't know. we don't know nothing. And we got to, to come um, to write just a word or a new sentence. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, Here. Um, oh. Okay. So the first yeah. thing, the first thing, so we don't get confused, is all of the exercise is in the present, only the present. So in the present, the verb to be has three forms: am, is, and are. We, yeah. We use is for singular and are for plural. And yeah. In am only for I. So. I look at the words here, the word is crops, and I identify that is plural. Ah, because it's in the present, then I only put, for plural, I put are. Next, I look at the verb, and I have to remember the past participle, not the past tense, the past participle of the verbs. Okay, if the verb is regular, only put ed. But if the yeah. verb is irregular, you need to remember how to spell the past participle. And this is the passive. The passive only changed the focus. So okay. in, the, in the original sentence, Taiwan grows many crops. But I focus on Taiwan. But in yeah. the passive, is not I don't care Taiwan. Only many crops are grown. Uh-huh. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. okay. It's time to go, but it's good that you understand. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. Cesar, do you have any questions? Uh, not sure. It's clear. I complete the one point nine only for the first row or row. What is the uh, the verb? The verb. David, how do you spell "grown" in the past participle for the number one? How how do you spell? Which one? Grown. Number one. Yes, exactly. For Cesar, number one. R G R O W N. G R O W E D E D. No, that's past, past participle basically is G R O W N. N O oh. no. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. You're okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Don't worry. The passive, we continue again tomorrow. The important is today we have the introduction. And tomorrow we have more practice. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Good. Have a great night. I see you tomorrow. See you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, guys. See you. Bye-bye.